वेलकम बैक वीवर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू चेक आउट द गरुडा रेगोनाइज लिनक्स एडिशन सो इट इज एडी डेस्कटॉप दैट हैज बीन सुटेबली मॉडिफाइड कॉन्फिगर्ड टू मेक इट इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द नीड्स ऑफ द परफॉर्मेंस एंथुजियास्ट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट We have installed the Garuda KDE Dragonage Edition with MS DOS partitions, no swap, full Linux encryption for the complete virtual machine disk. ButterFS is there by default, along with the Z standard compression and the ZRAM compression for the RAM, and the Z standard compression is for the hard disk. And the auto snapshot has been enabled by default. You have to provide the encryption password uh, key, decrypt the Hard disk as well as encrypt the hard disk, so you require that passphrase. Here also the Linux Zen kernel is by default, no other kernel is available, but you can install if you want. We will log in to the Linux Zen kernel. This is the splash screen. It looks little different than what we have seen in the Garuda Cinnamon desktop and the Garuda GNOME desktop. GNOME desktop I have tried, but there is an issue with the user. Uh, session the user session uh, the boot is uh, stopped at the user session it does not go ahead and there is constant flickering of the screen so possibly there is a issue with the resolution of the graphics i am not going to show you the gnome desktop review because it is not working uh, in gnome desktops also it is not working uh, in the virtual machine manager so maybe i will try the wilt manager might work there so that uh, gnome desktop will come later or it may not even come so don't wait for that now this is the greater screen of the garuda ad dragonize edition is one of the most beautiful looking desk, uh, desktops i have ever seen looks very 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 stylish and is very light so it is ultra responsive i will just show you when it boots up this is the first boot so it will take little time so the welcome app has come up this is the garuda setup assistant we are not going to do the setup i will do it in a separate video we will first focus on the desktop itself and later on all the garuda apps or tools i will make a separate video on each of the tools because there are many and they have a lot of functionality so just like in ndvr os uh, garuda also has a lot of tools even more than the ndvr os so we will check it check each of them so those are very uh, uh, important for the users and users can do lot of system maintenance using those uh, garuda tools so we will cancel this out and this is the garuda welcome now app that is come so all the uh, tools that we have seen in the garuda cinnamon desktop are here like the garuda assistant garuda gamer garuda settings manager garuda network assistant garuda boot options and remove software partition manager butter fs uh, assistant system cleaner the garuda services like the wiki website bitwarden donation page faqs gitlab qot ur link the search engine that is the crx uh, crx that is the search engine for the garuda hard dragon web browser private bin is there status is there this is the status of the garuda services so you can check out whether any uh, server or mirror is down by clicking on this i will show you in the letter there will be separate video for each and this is the uh, links to the garuda forum and the uh, social media pages let us check out the partition manager just i wanted to show you how the encrypted disk will look so here you can see the complete disk has been encrypted with butterfs and the lux encryption system and the ram there is zram is there you can see it here complete uh, ram has been compressed using the zram okay so now what we will do is we will just uh, close this down how to close because yes now we can close it you have to minimize it first that is done now what we will do is we will check out the actual desktop 
So this is the application launcher you can see here. Then on the right side, you get the volume control. No, this is not the simple volume control. It is the advanced volume control. You can see it here. Typically what is available in a KDE desktop. You can do the control for the devices as well as applications. Then the network manager is there. The notifications area, status and notifications area. The calendar is there and the power menu is there. And on the bottom there is a dock. And in the dock you have got Garuda welcome. What is this? The console that is the KDE terminal. Fire, Fire Dragon web browser is there. The Dolphin file manager is there. You can see it here. Then what is this? The snapper tools are there. Snapper tools I will cover in the next video. So we will have a separate videos on the system tools. System settings are there. You can see it here. System settings are there. There are two themes light and dark. You can change wallpapers. You can do more appearance settings. Let us go itself in the appearance settings. So these are the themes available. The sweet, uh, sweet KD theme is there. The Dragonized desktop theme is there. This uh, theme has been designed by the Garuda developers. Sweet, I think it is general. It is available for all the KD desktops in all Linux distributions. Breeze dark, breeze twilight, and the breeze is from the KD organization. Application styles, you can see these are all standard application themes. Those are available uh, on the net. Plasma styles, this is all available on the net except this uh, dragonized uh, plasma style. It is from the Garuda Linux uh, development team. Colors, you can see here. Sweet, sweetified, sweet, KVRU. Then the K simplicity turquoise, K, KV simplicity dark light. So this is maybe some of these are de done by the Garuda developers. I don't know, but it is possibility. For example, this uh, da, maybe uh, maybe this turquoise simplicity dark and the sweetified might be done by this uh, Garuda developers. I don't know. Then in Windows decorations, you can see here some of the Themes are there, sweet, sweet, dark, transparent. So by default it is sweet, dark. You can go with the sweet, dark, transparent also. I think I will use this. This looks more uh, sweet, uh, better. The fonts. Terra Sans is the font family used along with the Code Nerd font mono. Icons, it will be interesting. You can see your beauty line icons have been used. Candy icons, breeze, dark, breeze. Advaita is also available. Cursors. Sweet cursors, candy cursors, beauty line, breeze dark. So sweet cursor is default. Font management, you can do install, add, remove fonts from here. And the splash screen, you can see here, Dr. Uh, uh, 460 ionized or the dragonized, sweet, none and breeze. So these are the four. Now we come back. Uh, firewall is there, where I just saw the firewall yesterday. Firewall is there. Let us see if it is the okay. So what we have to do is we will have to start the firewall. Firewall is disabled. So we are now enabling the firewall. Let us see whether it gets enabled or not. Yes, so firewall is now enabled. Now there will be some changes to the policy kit. So incoming uh, Policy is allow and outgoing policy allow. So what we will do is default incoming we should reject. So no no uh, outside connection will try to connect with system, but you can connect with other systems. So this should be the policy. This is enabled now. That's it. So here only one incumbrance is that we cannot just go easily and close this down. We'll have to minimize this. Let me check. Yes. So the Close button is available, but it, has, it is at the very end of the uh, corner. So difficult. I am not much used to the dark things. Now let us now check out the about system. So the KDE Plasma version is 5.27.4, Framework version 5.105, Qt version 5.15, Kernel version is 6.2.13 Gen, dash one dash Gen. X11 is the graphics platform. So Wayland is not enabled by default. You can enable Wayland. 
any other things to check online accounts is available you can add all your online accounts these are the applications you can do the file associations from here you can add applications to start up and shut down these are the themes for the login screen you can see here the default is sweet sweet theme is the default garuda welcome is there on the auto start you can add the firewall to the auto start desktop session what is being shown on the logout screen so you can configure it here these are the background services that are running shortcuts so these are the system shortcuts for the different uh, applications of the system display and monitor so in all everything is there it's a standard kdi desktop but it has been tweaked for the performance so you can have high performance on this system it is very responsive to the keyboard and mouse uh, commands just one click and the whole every, the window snap open or close and the commands are executed very fast now let us check out the wallpapers let us see what happens wallpapers are there or not so here you can see the different wallpapers are there we will try some of the wallpapers this wallpaper how it will look looks nice this is also very nice wallpaper this one also looks very nice oh this is also very nice this one you have seen in the cinnamon desktop also so the wallpapers are common very nice the rural desert should look very nice yes so i will keep this wallpaper i like this wallpaper very much and the rest other wallpapers are there so we will check it out in some other uh, desktops we have applied the wallpaper let us check out the software store so octopi is the software store here so they have not used the pamac or they have not used the kd software center that is the discover software center they have used the octopi octopi is the default software manager you can see it here you have to just uh, open the group for example if i want to install any budgi application i will open the budgi group so here you can see the budgi group has got this uh, by packages that we can install if you want to install say kd multimedia so these are all the multimedia packages for the kd so you can install only right now only this i think one is uh, one is installed that is ff mpg thumbs so we can go and install the kden live kmix kvo plasma tube audio tube dragon so dragon is a multimedia player it focuses on simplicity instead of features so likewise you have to select the uh, groups of applications here on the right side window and then then you can select the individual application for install so this is the different uh, lv2 plugins are there so you can install it if you are a, a content creator audio creator you can use all these plugins in your uh, work now you have completed this anything else is there yes in the file section you can see here you can also check for update system upgrade install local packages suppose we have got a uh, arch package that you want to install you can download it from the net to some local folder and then you can install that local package using this so you have to just click here and give the path to the local package and then octopi will install it for you so it will of course do the security checks also and then install the package and these are the different actions 
there are some tools also available like cash cleaner repository editor system info and other options are there and you can view uh, all packages install packages non install packages outdated packages let us try out the outdated packages if there are any outdated packages it will show there is no there is no updated package right now we can now show the installed packages it should work we will just it will not work i think right now because the updates have not been done so you see these are the updates that need to be applied so we will not do the update right now because that are reserved for the separate video So it is showing us the updates that uh, are required to be installed right now these are the updates that are required to be installed so what we will do is we will cover this uh, totally this uh, octopi also later on in a separate video so i think uh, that's it we have covered the recognized kd desktop that is uh, developed by garuda linux team and it is very different there are a lot of tools and it is just made out for the performance and enthusiast you can also install games here it will work perfectly it is good for the content creators content creators who like the kde desktop for their workflow it is for those people and it, it is also safe no data corruption will be there because the butterfs file system is there auto snapshots are enabled so you have to forget that arch is little unstable as compared to other linux distros so the stability won't be an issue here because the snapshots are there you can roll back to the uh, good condition of your desktop if anything out on outward accident happens during the installation of updates or upgrade so on that note i will now stop here see you in the next video with another uh, garuda linux desktop bye bye